Good evening. We continue to fight in the southern part of the Gaza Strip at the end of a cooperated attack of uh, the armored corps and the uh, Navy commando. We have taken over the Palestine Square in Gaza. This is where the Yichya Sinwar Bureau is, uh, government offices, assets of Hamas officials. And this is where a terror network of tunnels is. Our forces, based on intelligence, have located the terror tunnels and the strategic importance that they have from the northern part of the Gaza city to the Shifa hospital and to the main headquarters of uh, Hamas where officials were on October 7th and after our uh, war have moved to other areas in the Gaza Strip. We continue to expose that terror tunnel network and recognize a major infrastructure Hamas have invested a lot of efforts in an area where there is a college and humanitarian areas. It invested a fortune to build the underground Gaza. We will expose and fight the terrorists. They come out of the shafts. We will kill them and destroy the terror infrastructure. Our forces are fighting bravely at a number of areas in Sajaia and Jabalia, in Khan Yunis area. These are main strongholds of Hamas. There are heavy and difficult fights. Uh, terrorists coming out of shafts, uh, placing uh, explosives and firing RPGs. We have one goal of killing the terrorists. There are also fatalities and wounded for our forces. To my regret, we will continue to clear these areas. I wish to address two footages uh, in recent days on the social media. IDF forces operate according to the values of the IDF and the spirit of the IDF. Forces on the battlefield are required to be professional and with morality. We will not compromise on that. In any event that doesn't stand to those values, operational and um, other methods will be used against those troops. In the north, fighter jets together with tanks and artillery have struck in Lebanon. We struck uh, terror infrastructure. <coughs> All of these belong to the Hezbollah terror group. IDF troops also struck a terror squad that attempted to fire anti-tank missiles towards Israel. We will continue to strike <coughs> against any terror activity of Hezbollah. We also recognize several launches towards Israel and UAVs. The um, aerial defense uh, fighters have thwarted most of these threats. The chief of staff was in the north. He met the reservists, the members of the security units. He said that the return to the communities will be in security and sense of security together with the local leadership while strengthening the security units. In the home front, we call on the public to continue an update with the guidelines of the Home Front Command. These save lives. Also this evening, we remember that we have the duty, the moral duty of returning all of our hostages back home. We will continue to do everything in order to return them home. Questions? We saw in several days the images of the surrenders in Gaza. How many of them are Hamas terrorists? Hanegbi says that we will not see these images anymore. Do you agree? I wish to address this. The images that you saw are in two main areas, in Jabalia and Sajaya. This is where significant battles, and these are our strongholds of Hamas. They're still fighting there. The fighting is not over there. There is a lot of terrorists. In the hard shells there, we continue to work. As we continue to do so, there is a surrender. As they come out, a lot of people, some of them are militants that uh, holding, that are giving away their weapons. A lot of them are other men that are just in the area. 
We take their clothes off because we fear uh, explosives. This is something that we're doing through many years. And we've had uh, instances where people detonated themselves on the forces. In this investigation that we're holding, we're also finding Hamas operatives. They're not all Hamas uh, terrorists. And therefore what we do at the end of the investigation is obviously supply them with clothes, we will change that uh, if, need, uh, if needed. And we arrest those who are members of Hamas. Some of the investigations are in the field and some of those who are not members but just civilians are being released south to where Gazan civilians are. The images are, that were released were not by the IDF spokesman. We are at war and we will decide what to uh, show out. We arrested dozens who are terrorists. I will not uh, say how many of them, in what percentages, many of them are terrorists who gave in and this is very significant. Because these are terrorists in major strongholds, and this is very important. This evening, we published the RISA team to deal with the day after the war. Is the IDF part of it? We hold a strategic uh, process in the IDF. Some of the things that the IDF is doing is uh, looking at the end of the war and the recommendations for the political levels as we manage the war and see towards where we want to go to. The role of the IDF is to explore the possibilities and it's uh, the job of the political um, field to make the decisions. Senior Israeli official says the IDF is not where it wanted to be when it comes to eliminating of senior Hamas officials. We, and I separate between the ground um, commanders and the leadership, the senior leadership like uh, Sinwar and Mohammed Def and Issa, the very senior leadership. Those three, we need to get to them. This is our job. It's clear that those three that I mentioned are significant. We need to get to them as long as it may take. We will get to them. The, and the fell on the field uh, level, there's a major uh, uh, success. We will continue to locate the senior commanders. Regarding the northern border, as the IDF increased its attacks on Hezbollah, we attack in Lebanon in such a manner that reflects what we saw in recent days, both anti-tank uh, launches, uh, rockets, and UAVs. We want to reach a situation where we thwart the threat before it is even uh, directed at us to kill the squads before they fire towards Israel. And therefore, we also strike from the same headquarters uh, where those imminent from. Our priority is to eliminate any threat on the border very close to the communities. That's what we do in recent months. We clean up the Hezbollah threats along the border. And sometimes we also attack additional headquarters from which those terror activities come from. Houthis claim they've stopped boats on their way to Israel. Is that uh, correct? Is there an idea when will Gazans be able to return to the northern part of the Gaza Strip? How will the IDF control the southern part while the residents are still there? 
פה זה שאלות ארוכות, עם הרבה מאוד זירות, אני שמעתי את השאלות. אני אענה עליהן בצורה תמציתית. לגבי החות'ים, במרחב הזה של בבלמנדה, במצרים, 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 חמור ביותר. is very serious. The Houthis attacked international boats that have nothing to do with the state of Israel. They're, they're hurting the freedom of, uh, of those vessels, and therefore and the CENTCOM has uh, established a special uh, working system in order to enable free movement. This is a global problem. This is something that we agree about with our partners, and those behind this is Iran. Iran is behind these actions. Iran sponsors the Houthis and directs them together with intelligence as well, and therefore we need to understand this is not just a problem in Bab el Mandab. This is a problem of the negative uh, form with which the Iranians operate in the Middle East. We need to ensure that the interests of the State of Israel are being preserved. We will make sure to do so. Other questions about Gaza, this fighting is, operate, is being operated in stages. We are now in the stage of hurting uh, the Hamas strongholds, hurting uh, senior Hamas officials and ground officers, uh, exposing the tunnels, and another one, and reaching a situation where we can return the hostages back home. These are the goals of the war. Every, all these components together are those of this stage. When this stage is over and we uh, decide that we concluded it, we will move to the other stages that need to bring uh, a security arena that would allow security for the residents in the south and in the north. There are other stages to this war. It relates to the decisions of who will control Gaza at the end of this war. Or, and, and this is up to the uh, political level to decide on. Thank you very much.